In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use your Android device to send a message through iMessage. So there's an application called AirMessage. That's the one I'm going to be using today. So go ahead and go to the website here and scroll to the bottom. And this tutorial requires a MacBook. It could be an older MacBook. This one that I have is a 2011 MacBook Pro. So if you don't have one, then you won't be able to do this tutorial. All right, so go ahead and download the application called Air Message Server for Mac OS. Uh, once you download it, you want to go ahead and own, open the application. Okay, this is the screen that you're going to get, and then you want to click on Configure Manually. Okay, go ahead and type in a password, and then click OK. And then you're going to see this arrow here. This means that the application is running. Okay, so the next step is to go to your router. So what you need to do is you need to do something called port forwarding. Port forwarding allows you to be outside your house and then point to your home's IP address, external IP address, and then you'll be able to use Air Message in your Android away from your house. All right, so to do that, you basically go to system preference, and then you wanna go over to your network connections. So let me go ahead and get out of here. Go back to the main menu. So go to network and then click on the one that you're connected to. And then you want to click advance. And then you want to click on TCP IP. And you want to grab the router's IP address. So you want to copy. And then you also need to know this IPv4 address. So keep that in mind. So with the router IP, you're going to go to your browser and then you're going to type that address in, which I did and it took me to my router login. And one thing that you will need is something called DDNS. If you don't pay for a static IP address with your internet provider, there's a chance your IP address will change randomly and then this will break configuration for your error message. So what I did here, uh, TP-Link offers uh, DDNS service for free. And basically it gives you a unique name that points to your IP address. And if your IP address changes, then it will register that change and you don't have to worry about it. So this, this is the DDNS name that I'll be using. And then what you need to do is you need to go to your advanced settings and then you want to go to your NAT forwarding, depending on your router. It should be on the firewall or the forwarding settings. And then you want to do port forwarding. So what you're going to do is you're going to use that 200 IP address or the IP address of your device. And then you want to open port 1359 externally, internally. And then you want to use all protocols, which is UDP and TCP. And then you want to enable that rule. So this allows you to basically be outside your house and make a request to your home server that's air message and then the message will go through. All right. And then additionally, you want to do something called IP address reservation. So that way the IP address never changes on your computer. So if you go through your settings, look for something called IP reservation and make sure that this is your MacBook is added to that. So that way the local IP address never changes. Okay. So once you've done that, then if you don't know if your router doesn't support DDNS, like you saw there on my end, then there is a service called no IP and you could use no IP for free. And then you create your account and then set it up that way. You will need to know your public IP address. So you could go to Google and then put in what is my IP. And then that will give you your IP address. Okay, so now that you set that up, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your Android device, which I'm going to go ahead and show you here. Okay, so this is my Android device. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open our message. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. And then since I already have it configured, I'm just going to go ahead and log off. So this is what you should see when you first 
open the application. So you want to go to the Play Store and download Air Message. So in my case, I want to go to Network and then DDNS, and then this is the name that I'll be using. And then you want to click where it says Use Manual Configuration. And then in here, if you're at home, of course, you could use the local IP address. In my case, I'm going to type in the DDNS IP address. And then type in the rest. Okay, that looks about right. And then the password, you will type in the password we created earlier. And then you do check connection. And then boom, it connected. And then it's going to go ahead and open the messaging. So in here, basically what you do is you click on the message here. And then you could type in the person's phone number. And I believe you could also type in the email. So when people get your message, they basically going to see your email as a response, just like if you had using iMessage on your iPhone. So this does not show your phone number. There is a specific step that I'm not going to cover here that you could do a trick with the SIM card to be able to show your phone number. But this way, if people know your email, you could send a message through our message to any iPhone device and you could be away from your house when you use DDNS. All right, so that's basically how you set up Air Message in your MacBook and your Android device. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe.